Oh, humanity, what a calamity you are. So you've ever done this thing where you've, you've done something and you know afterwards, you're like, I shouldn't have behaved that way. I've done something wrong, bad. And you're like, oh, so what do I, what do, I do here? Do, do I just like sweep under the rug? You know, um, do I just pretend that I didn't do it? Do I make excuses for what I did? Do I think about what I've done and why I did it and try and get down to the bottom of it and just not do it again? Um, maybe that's the best way to do things. You know, going, oh, oh, why did we make this mistake in the past? Okay, let's figure out why we did it, right? W without any semblance of defensiveness or fear or ego. And figure out why we did it and, and just not do it again, you know? Um, until the next generation makes the same mistake because they're going through the same fucking routine as everybody else, you know? Fucking humans, they just never learn, you know? Um, <laughs> what was it Winston Churchill said? You know, the murderous bastard Winston Churchill. Uh, say about America, it's like they'll try everything <laughs> until they find something that works. Something along those lines. You know, some arsehole will quote him. But um, it's like... <laughs> what I've realised about this whole COVID thing and like now Russia and Ukraine and... Um, when, when COVID happened, there's a whole bunch of people who have been completely oblivious to history and the world and what's going on in the greater scheme of things outside of their own friend and family circle um, that have felt hopeless their entire lives and are undereducated and now trying to teach themselves about reality. And of course, they've fallen down the fucking uh, conspiracy chud rabbit holes. Um, when anything bad happens, and I've been saying this for years, when anything bad happens, people will always try and find a culprit because they're too afraid of the fact that chaos is reality and asteroid can destroy the planet at any moment. They can't cope with these kind of things. They can't cope with a virus evolving. It has to be man-made because nature wouldn't kill us. You know, it's like they, it has to be man-made and they have to find a culprit. They have to find somebody to blame. Because they can't just say to themselves or anyone else, well, you know, maybe we should look at this, look at this problem, you know, <laughs> figure out why people get themselves into wars and um, not do it, you know? And uh, I guess we could blame all kinds of different kinds of people. But the shit I've been reading today on the good old Twitter nets, um, and I hate Twitter, by the way. I don't know why I read it today. I was maybe trying to piss myself off. But um, it's like, oh, this is the same people that launched COVID are making up this fake war. And I watched this horrible video footage of a rocket like from from a house. Like, this family, they've got their mobile phone at the window and this rocket comes and hits a building right next to them. And they're screaming, they're panicking because they're going to think they're going to fucking die. And underneath it's, oh, this is false flag, this is CGI, this is um, this is footage from 1999. It's like, I don't think people had uh, fucking <laughs> smartphones in 1999, son. Um, but the amount of deranged, delusional bullshit humans go through in order to justify their worldview, in order to alleviate any fears that they have about the chaotic nature of reality, is unfathomable. Anyway, hope everybody else is having a great time. Happy Friday.